So now let's find the price, including sales tax, of a $225 tablet in each of these three states. So if you'll remember, South Carolina was 7.25% sales tax. So um, we can multiply that by the price of the tablet, $225. But if we're going to do that, it needs to be as a decimal. We never, ever multiply something with percent as a percent. So one way to turn this into a decimal, if you don't remember, is 7.25 per hundred, or percent, which gives us 0 0.0725. So multiply that by 225. And that equals 16.3125. But since we're talking about money, we need to round to the nearest cent. And since the neighboring number is less than 4, we truncate, meaning just cut it off. So we're looking at $16.31 in tax alone. So to get the total amount, we would need to now add that to the 225. So 225 plus 1631 equals $241.31. Again, that's a rounded number, rounded to the nearest penny. Now this is not the only way we could have figured this out. We could have also done 2.75 well, let's try that again. seven point two five is to a hundred as what part the sales tax is the part is to the whole and the whole is two twenty five now if we had done it this way and cross multiplied we would get sixteen thirty one point two five equals one hundred p and then we would Divide both sides by 100 to isolate P. And we would get 16.3125. And again, this is your sales tax. So we want to round. And the 2.5 just truncates, means gets cut off. But notice we did, multi we did divide by 100, just like we did up here. We did divide it by 100. We just didn't do it until the end. So we still did the same steps, just in a different order. And then, of course, we would still add that to the 225 to get our total. Now, there's one more way that we can do this that gets us to the answer faster, and I had mentioned it earlier, and that is that we are going to pay 100% of the tablet plus 7.25% of the tablet. So that equals 107.25%. And again, we have those two methods. I can either turn that into a decimal by dividing 107.25 by 100, and that equals 1.0725, and then multiply that by the 225. And that immediately gives me the $241.31.25. So again, we truncate the, the 25. Or again, I could put just the 107.25 the over 100 equals part over whole. And the whole again is 225. It's just don't be surprised when, when we cross multiply here, we get this 24131.25 equals 100p, and then divide both sides by 100. Again, our part is bigger than our whole. 241.31 1 if we round it. 
it's just unusual for our part to be bigger than our whole, except for when we multiply by over 100. So I've really shown you kind of four different uh, strategies, but the most common, well, I think a lot of people kind of like the proportions and then add it on, or this is really the most common right here, is just to multiply by 1.0725. And in class, if you'll remember, we actually wrote an equation using this. If you'll remember, it was y, which is the price with sales tax, equals 1.0725 x and x represents the price of the item so you'll get the sale price I mean the price with sales tax if you multiply 107.25 percent by the price of the item so now let's think about Kentucky and how their sales tax was 6.1 percent I'm gonna do what I showed you in class which is to turn that into an equation First of all, we want to do the 100% plus the 6.1% to get the 106.1%, which as a decimal is 1.061. Again, I'm just dividing it by 100 to get that. And then put that in the equation. The price with sales tax equals 1.061 times the price of the item. So here, it'd be 1.061 times 225. And this will give you your price with sales tax immediately. And that equals 238.725. So that's going to round the 72, that 5 is going to round the 72 cents up to 73 cents. And that's your price with sales tax. Now you're welcome to use proportions like we like I showed you before. You can use any of those other ways, but I like this way. It gives me to the answer really quickly, and it teaches me to write equations, which we're going to have to do eventually anyway. And finally, Oklahoma, that had that sales tax of 8.9%. Again, that is in decimal form 0.089. And I want to add that to the 100%. And 100% as a decimal is just 1 to give, to give me the 1.089. And then as an equation, the price with sales tax equals 1.089x. So now we substitute in this, the price of the item, 225. That equals $245 and 0 0.25, so rounds it up to $0.03. Cents. So you can see the three very different prices, even though it's the exact same tablet. So what was this one down here? Oh yeah, here is our 241, and this was in South Carolina. Thirty-one. Of course, this one was our Oklahoma, 245.03, and um, Kentucky was the 200. 38.73